Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today is Ash and Catherine's paralogue. Some new musings on the squad, Violet is an assassin to support Sylvain with stealth. Dimitri is sporting his shiny new vantage ability, and Ash is finally taking center stage as a dancer. We've recruited Catherine to cast stride and do nothing else. This mission is a defend map. All you technically have to do is keep Rhea alive for 10 turns. That's slow and boring, and we are way better than that. So we're going to route the map instead. There are four bosses on this map that spawn reinforcements. Two priests on the east and west, a dark bishop in the northwest, and a dark bishop in the southeast. When you knock them out, they stop spawning reinforcements. As is always the case, the best way to beat a defend mission is to ignore the mission objective and treat it like a route map. Dimitri casted stride on the western team and rode south. Felix revealed some Pegasus Knights and a mini boss on the eastern wing. He waits with a bow equipped to kill them on any phase. Bernadetta flew northeast with the evasion ring. While she doesn't have a lurk stance, the best way for her to get skill points quickly is by facing a lot of enemy phase combat at once. So we take some risks. Violet and Sylvain ride north. Violet has stealth, so all the enemies will target Sylvain so long as they can reach him, and thanks to his personal skill Philanderer, he will take two less damage and deal two more damage per hit. It doesn't seem like a lot, but when multiple enemies in a row are doubling, minus four per interaction adds up quickly. I got this. I'll give it my all. I'm <laughs> Felix kills some Pegasi, whom he can actually double because we've pumped him full of steroids. Strong. Ingrid and Mercedes draw in some mage fire. And so does Sylvain. I made a positioning error there, which I will correct shortly. Stay focused. Ready. I got this. I'll give it my all. I can feel There we go. Bernadetta draws some armored knights out of the fog. She can wail on them for a little while thanks to the bush and the evasion ring she's wearing. She only faces 22% listed hit, which is actually right around 10%. Raphael face tanks some horses. And Constance finally learns Vantage. Now for the real show. With the Horse Slayer, Dimitri can one-shot every single one of these Cavaliers, even without the bonus from Lance Fair, since he's not in Paladin yet. And thanks to Vantage, he's in no danger whatsoever. This is only a tiny preview of what we'll get to see on Chapter 13. You 
Use caution. I will get I'll get It's dangerous. Raphael reveals this map's boss with a torch. Dimitri rides towards the minibus on the east wing. Byleth reveals another boss with this kill. And with the Lance of Ruin, Sylvain absolutely decimates this mini-boss. Once again, I made an oopsie and forgot when the reinforcements spawned.
Stay focused. Another. Careful, please. Dimitri will instead wait patiently in a corner. Wow. I'll crush them all. Thanks, Catherine. You really did something there. Raphael goes for a completely unnecessary gambit on the boss for Dimitri to get a kill. The gambit has missed, we could have tried to reroll some RNs, or Raphael could have just beat the shit out of him. Mercedes reveals the last mini boss. Stay focused. And Byleth kills him. We should be able Thanks to stealth, Mercedes draws fire from all the scary mages and takes no damage. Thanks, Catherine. Felix reveals the last boss on the map. Unfortunately, Bernadetta can't do this on her own without risking death. So Raphael goes for another 40% listed fusillot and sticks it! Go 
goddess, have mercy. Forgive them their sins and save their souls. It would have been better if we'd captured the bishop, but they didn't make it easy for us. What now, Lady Rhea? We must go to the headquarters of the Western Church. Perhaps there is still someone there who knows what has transpired. Let us help too. It may not be much, but we'll do whatever This is we a can. very quick and very easy map, sure but we get the greatest afraid. reward we could ever ask for from a quick and easy map. Thanks for watching. Next time we're going to take on Raphael and Ignatz's paralog.